Hello and welcome back to Black Mirror 3. Did I say you'd hear from me again? So we figured out the serial number, we have his date of birth, and we have that other part, so we should be able to call in. Alright then, let's see if it works. The combination is four right, eight left, fifteen right, sixteen left, twenty three right, forty two left. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Hmm. I'm a bat. Hmm. Various photos of different people. Denise and Spooner doing... Oh, here's one of Matt taking a leak on the police station. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why he was in the slammer? I'll get rid of all this crap the next chance I get. There's something else in the envelope. Bingo! Reliable photographic evidence. It doesn't prove my guilt, but Angelina's caught in the act of arson. I gotta show this to Victoria right away. It'll convince her of my innocence. I just need to avoid running into Sister Antolini. She'd be sure to send me packing again. And Murray was just bluffing. There aren't any compromising photos of me. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so now we need to go to Black Castle. There she is again, the white lady from the shack. What? Oh, she's coming closer. Oh, she's floating like a ghost. What if she is one? Keep calm, Darren. At least it would be better than one of those hellhounds. A friendly ghost is actually fine, particularly when it's so beautiful. Or so sad. Hmm, should I follow her? Into the realm of the dead, or what? Oh, whatever. I've still got a whole packet of Halo Paradox with me. If the whole thing gets a bit too crazy for me, I'll take one. Where's she gone now? Strange, I hardly let her out of my sight. Well, she was heading toward the castle where we have to go. For me? Huh. I hope the ghost is some kind of angel. This isn't the gate to hell. It's certainly decorative. Okay. Huh. The scaffolding is just asking to be climbed on. But unfortunately, I can't see any open windows. Anyway, it would be impossible to climb on it quietly. Without being noticed. It's certainly decorative, if you like having it. Whatever's being mixed in here, it can't be cement. Otherwise, there'd be a pile of sand nearby. I hope the construction guys know what they're doing. A huge skull above the door. Makes you feel right at home. A pane of glass is missing, but it still works. A pane of glass. Hmm. There are people in the hall. Construction guys, I guess. I'd better go another way. Otherwise, Sister Antolini is sure to get wind that I'm in the castle. Okay, doesn't look like we can do anything there. It's certainly decorative, if you like. Folding ladder. The ladder is too short to reach the first floor. I should look for another way. The ladder is too short. 
Why do I constantly have the feeling that a big monkey is sitting up there throwing barrels? Oh, uh, uh, wow. Okay, reference. It's a bit small for having a barbecue, but there's the garden for that. I wonder if there was ever a pretty maiden in this castle. Here, it goes down a few meters, and then the large surrounding garden begins. The fitting description would be wilderness. There's even more garbage lying around here. Hmm. There used to be fireworks in here. I might be able to lure the construction guys out of the house for a moment with a firework like this. But these ones here are unusable. Hmm. It's certainly decorative. It looks even older than the castle, if that's at all possible. Oh, we can go to the greenhouse. Haven't been here for a long time. Pretty tall, this greenhouse. It's more like an orangery, where lemon trees are housed over the winter. If I remember correctly, Victoria's... Looks like Lewis hadn't taken his job seriously for quite a Not exactly what you'd expect from a castle garden. Okay, nothing here. Oh look, a wheelbarrow. Used to transport drunken workers. Oh, this is the kitchen, yeah, of course. An empty pot. I'm guessing the guys here have heated up their lunch in it. I have no idea what I can do with a pot at the moment. I think I'll leave it here. The kitchen looks like a real mess. Lewis must have started the blaze here. There's nothing left to eat here. The most I could hope for here is smoked meat. Not funny. There's a candle. If I don't have a flashlight, I should at least take this with me. No crockery left in here. All gone in the fire, I guess. Judging by the state of this door, it'll create a level of noise equivalent to a collapse in house when you open it. That would be much too loud. An empty pot. I have no idea what I could do. Oh! It says ammunition. I could fill the roll with the gunpowder from the ammo. I've just got to open the cartridges first. I can't get the ammunition out with the scalpel, so something like a pair of pliers would be good. I don't have pliers. It's an iron sealing truss. Hopefully, they're supporting the unsound masonry. Damn, it'd be impossible to sneak past them unnoticed. I have to distract them somehow. Ah. I don't have any pliers, though. If I remember correctly... It's certainly... To say it's dilapidated, the ladder is too...
Oh, was this here before? No, it wasn't. Toolbox. It wasn't there yesterday. Is Murray doing the renovation himself? <laughs> Whatever. I'll just help myself. Not too well organized. Ah, well, there are my pliers. They could come in handy later. Otherwise, just screws, nails, and fuses. Okay, we got what we need. Oh, good God. Hmm. I can use the pliers to get the slug out of the cartridge. That way, I'll make the thing harmless and get a charge of gunpowder at the same time. I'll fill the cardboard tube with the There we go. Tube. Just a shame that it always trickles out of the ends. It's not lit. The wax is too hard to seal the roll with. Oh god, you're not going to force me to do this. Click. Let that Yeah, okay. Light. Oh, <laughs> uh, what is he doing? I love that. I can seal the cardboard roll with the wax so the gunpowder doesn't trickle out. Now the gunpowder will stay inside. Just needs a fuse on it. And then I've got myself a firework. Hmm, a fuse? I don't think I have anything for a fuse, right? Fuse, fuse, fuse. Plain cigarette. If I lit one up, it would burn. Oh, could I? I'll stick the cigarette in one end of the cardboard roll. If you light the cigarette, it'll burn down and make the gunpowder explode. Wow. So now I've built my own firework. Okay, well at least I cleaned out my inventory some. By some, I mean not a ton. Okay, I think we use that in the pot. Correct? It's too risky just to lure the workers into the kitchen. I have to get them up. Oh. Uh... The lamp post? Yeah, okay. The lamp is the perfect place to set off my firework. It's dry, and the construction guys are sure to notice a broken lamp. Okay, I've got about two minutes until this explodes. So, it's time. After all, I want to be in the front row when the show begins. Okay. Oh, what was that? It sounded like a gunshot. <laughs> Damn, why aren't they going out? It might have been a firework. I saw one of them spotty kids messing around in a wall again recently. Have you seen what they've done to our scaffolding? Uh, no. I've been on a facade since last week. They've covered it in paint. Go and have a look. It's like a, like a hippie ladder. <laughs> Little sods. Why are they hanging around here, not in school? What's that about? Steve. I've got an idea. What part of idea, Greg? Stick their fireworks up their spotty buns and fly under the moon. 
<laughs> yeah, why not? Um, last. I hope they don't actually catch up with those <laughs> kids. <laughs> Could turn ugly. Damn. What's all that noise? Greg, Steve, was that you? Hey, Greg, Steve, what the heck is going on here? Hmm. She's disappearing into the hall. Now full speed to Victoria. Yeah, full speed. You mean you're stiff up something up my bum speed. Isn't that Please wake up, Victoria. the same person? Who? Adrian? What are you doing here? I, I told you, I, I don't want to see you again. I'm sorry, but I gotta talk to you. I can prove I'm innocent. You can see Angelina here on this photo, Victoria, killing Miss Valley. Here, look at it. Angelina? But why? I don't understand. Angelina also gave the order to set the castle on fire. And she killed Sally, Catherine, and Lewis. All just because of Mordred's curse. She needed my blood, because only male Gordons are capable of activating Mordred's power. You knew about that, Victoria. Please don't tell me you didn't know. But she was my little Angelina. How could she do something like that? I was hoping you could tell me that. Hmm. There's that order that followed me. Miss Valley's order. A bunch of bunglers. They wanted to prevent something like what happened 12 years ago from happening again. But they've got no idea what they're fighting against. Most of them see it as an amusing diversion from their lives. Acting mysteriously and having secret meetings in silly frocks. Miss Valley was the only one who really knew what it was about. The original order has existed for hundreds of years. It keeps the secrets hidden. However, we supported Miss Valley financially. It was, after all, in our interest that you, Adrian, did not return to Black Mirror. I see. I saw something strange there, and I don't know who else I could ask about it. This white lady, exactly the one in this painting, or very similar, I don't know. But either way, I saw her in the woods. She was running around like a ghost. But it wasn't a ghost, was it? A white lady in the woods? Are you sure? So it really was a ghost. Oh my god, I really <laughs> am going crazy. No, no. Calm down, Adrian. Everything's fine. Perhaps better than I dared to hope. Tell me more about the lady. What did she look like? What did she have on? I didn't see her all that well. She had long white hair, she had a long dress on with a belt, some kind of coat of arms on it. The woman you saw is Maria Gordon, Mordred's wife. She can find no peace. Not for centuries. She wanders the woods of Black Mirror because she's searching for her child. Her child and Mordred's. I've seen her too. You've seen her too? 
then she really does exist. We're in Black Mirror Castle, Adrian. Which reality are you talking about? Hmm. What happened to the child? All right. What I'm about to tell you has never left these walls. And it would be good if it stayed that way. It's perhaps the oldest of our family stories, and also the most dreadful. You want to know what happened to the child? That's what Maria asks herself to this day. All we know is that Mordred took it away because he thought it wasn't his biological child. He thought Maria cheated on him with his brother, Marcus and wanted to make her pay for that. What he did to the child remains a mystery until today. It was never seen again. So Mordred's wife was unfaithful, and, and because of that he cursed everyone? No, Maria wasn't unfaithful to Mordred. <laughs> it was his hate that made him think something like that. Hate and jealousy towards his brother. Even though the two of them fought many battles together, side by side. But that was before they came to Black Mirror. Something here changed Mordred, contaminated his heart. He mistrusted everyone, his soldiers, his wife. His brother became more and more withdrawn, became arrogant. Finally, he looked at his own child and didn't recognize it. Thought he could see similarities with his brother in his face. He wanted to kill it, but no one knows if he did. One thing's for sure, he snatched it from Maria and took it into the catacombs under the castle. In her desperation, Maria called for Marcus, begged him for help. For Mordred, this was further evidence to support his suspicion. Marcus came, challenged Mordred to a duel, and killed him. But he didn't find the child, no matter how he searched. It was as though he'd disappeared. So we're retconning the entire first game, huh? What kind of curse is it? Before Mordred died, he put a curse on Marcus's male descendants. They were to complete his work. One day a Gordon devoted to evil would be born, who would bring Mordred back to the realm of the living. And Angelina wanted to have his power. But why if only the male Gordons were cursed? Because your twins, the curse, must have somehow got mixed up. <laughs> How's that? I'm sorry. I can't tell you any more, Adrian. It is just an assumption. Uh, oh, there are twins here. Which one am I supposed to curse? Oh. Uh. <laughs> That's just an amusing thought. What? Adrian, we've no time to lose. You're the last Gordon of the Marcus lineage. The castle should belong to you. Give me some paper and a pen. There, in the door. I must confirm your true identity. Otherwise, no one will know that you're the lawful heir. I... I can feel my strength waning, Adrian. My life's coming to an end. No, no, Victoria, please. I need you. I won't know what to do without you.
Without me, you might not have been in this position. We were very thorough when it came to you. He even had you a death certificate drawn up. Let me guess, Dr. Herman did that. We made a mistake. Forgive me, Adrian. It's all right. You only wanted to protect me. But it might have been better if I'd known what it was about. Then I might not have walked into Angelina's trap. What can you tell me about the ritual chamber? I've never been there myself. But apparently Mordred's power is strongest there. That place is not of this world. It's in the Shade World. I think me and Angelina, we heard Mordred when we were there. What exactly happened in the ritual chamber? Well, I completed all of the tasks. I spilled my blood on the relief. And did you speak the words? I think so. Oh God, Adrian, then the ritual's complete. You've laid open the way for Mordred. What... what do you mean? Am I cursed now? Worse, Adrian. Worse. Mordred's spirit is now in you. Adrian, in you. Oh my god, Adrian, what have you done? Mordred is inside me? Oh, hell, that's exactly what I feared. Stay calm. Let's stay calm and think. How do you feel? Is anything different? Yes. Uh, there are the, these visions. They feel quite real. They're sick, violent. But maybe they aren't anymore. Uh, I wanted to go for Murray's throat earlier. That definitely wasn't a vision. Hmm. When did you see the White Lady lost? Just now, in front of the castle. Then you haven't yet done evil. Your heart is still pure. You're strong, Adrian. You've managed to resist. And you must continue to do so. Resist Mordred for as long as you can. He will get stronger and stronger. And you will get weaker. He wants to control you. At some point, he will take control of you. How can I prevent Mordred from controlling me? There are only two ways to banish him. Mordred's vessel must be destroyed. You know what I mean by that. I guess you mean the Samuel variety? A little jump from the tower? Directly onto a pointy iron fence? Sounds tempting. It's certainly the easier option. Really? What would the difficult one be then? You have to go back to where everything began. To the ritual chamber? Uh, but, but it's buried. Where everything began. But, but, do you mean where Mordred uttered the curse? It's all written in the book. In which book? Uh, so the Gordon Family dream. Chronicles. I, I can't go on. No, no, please don't close your eyes now, Victoria. Stay awake, please. Just, just tell me what book you're talking about. Uh, a chronicle, or, or, or the Bible? The book. Please read it. In the room. Wh which room? Under the ground. The six minutes will point you to the entrance. W which minutes? The path begins there. The path. You have to follow. To the end, to the very end. D do you mean the, the big stones around the castle? Start there. Search at the men. Yes, Adrian. Promise me 
Yes, yes, I'll do it. Promise me. Yes, I, I promise. Victoria, Victoria, please, please wait. There's so much you have to tell me. Victoria. What are you doing here? How did you get She's away? dying. Do something. Quick! Leave now. Yeah, I thought so. That seemed like an ending point. Chapter 3. Poor Victoria. She's been through so much. I don't know if I'm quite happy about the retconning of the first game. I mean, for the most part, like, you know, the origin Lady of Black Victoria Mirror. Victoria Gordon has passed away. She leaves behind an empty place in our hearts. Let us pause a moment and bid her farewell in silent prayer. Dear mourners, as we part, I would like to leave you with a few words to reflect upon. Words which have guided Lady Victoria throughout her life in both good and troubled times. So faith, hope, and love abide. These three. Said Paul in his letter to the Corinthians. But the greatest of these is love. Now, as we are saying goodbye to Lady Victoria Gordon, let us do so with these words in mind. Amen. Adrian, my sincere condolences. Thanks. Your great-grandmother was a quite extraordinary woman. Yes, she was. Upright and of good heart. Yeah, it's a pity I only got to know her so late. Better late than never. You are Lady Victoria's only kin, and therefore her sole heir. You can now move into the castle and take some time to reflect, to find some peace, Adrian. And say farewell not only to your great-grandmother, but to your old life, too. If you need any help, you know where to find me. Thank you, Father Frederick. My condolences, Adrian. Thanks, Doc. How are you? Well, this is the funeral of the last member of my family. That's it. From now on, I'm alone on God's Earth. Utterly alone. I suddenly find Mordred's presence in my head a little comforting. He is part of the family, after all. We could have our session now, if you like. No, I'd just like to have some space right now. Can we move it to this afternoon? How about three o'clock, at my practice? Okay. See you then, Adrian. Adrian Gordon, the last, but not the least. Or maybe he is. What a great time to say that, but I wouldn't expect anything else from you. That's right. You even carried your great-grandmother to her grave, who you'd known hardly three or four weeks. Sorry for your sad loss. That I'm sure you'll get over very quickly, and congratulations on hitting the jackpot. What jackpot? Do you mean the burned-down castle that I'm duty-bound to rebuild according to the will? Or do you mean by being the last in line of a family of sickos and murderers? You call it that, but anyone else would call inheriting a magnificent estate and rising up into the nobility an incredible real stroke of luck. But you were always good at playing the victim. That's what you think. Any other cop would overcome his prejudices and just look at the facts. Talking of cops, as you're now a British citizen, I'm afraid I can no longer get you deported. Let me make myself clear. The slightest hint of suspicion, and I'll have you back inside. And that's a promise. 
Why do you want to keep me so close to you? Haven't you got any other friends? Why don't you go see Denise more often? That'll take the heat off a bit. You'll soon stop talking so tough. Have it your way. And now if you'll excuse me, Inspector, I have to go count my guest bathrooms. Okay, Ralph should be back at the shack by now. Maybe Ralph is in his shack again. Ralph? He, he is here! It's me, Darren. I rescued you from the cellar. I once gave you a flute by the ruin. Do you remember? Yes, Darren! But I... I broke it. I didn't mean to. Tell me, Ralph, um, have you ever come across the white lady? I know lots of white ladies. And men, they've got overalls on, they have needles and knives, they stab with them, they're evil. And here in the woods, are there white ladies here too? One, yes. She runs around here looking for someone, but she won't find Mr. Bubby. I hide him. Hmm, that's why he was in, under the bed. How you doing, Ralph? Mr. Bubby has lost an eye. How long were you locked in the cellar? A hundred years. Well, oh, okay, so Bubby lost an eye. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's not that way. to the castle the notary gave me. Oh, our inventory! It's down to only one screen again! Oh, my dear lord. Hi. Uh, are you waiting for me? Good morning, sir. Yes, we are. Our condolences, by the way. Thanks. I'm Adrian. Okay, Adrian. I'm Greg. This is Steve. So, you're the boss now, right? It looks like it. <laughs> but, but I still have to get used to the fact. Okay, boss. Well, maybe the best thing is for you to start right away. But, in fact, Miss Antolini has forgotten to give us further instructions. Instructions? Uh, to do with the restoration? I... I don't know. I haven't managed to have a good look around yet. Sure. Then perhaps you want to get a, a, a general overview first. Well, there is a heck of a lot of building work going on. So, why don't you just get on with your work then? No offense, sir, to the name of the Goldens. But, uh, it would be nice <laughs> to know if <laughs> left anything behind. I mean, yeah. apart from the building work. You mean money-wise? Yep. <sighs> okay, I'll look into it. Well, see you later then, sir. We'll wait for you in front of the castle. Lovely. So this is my new home, Blackmere Castle. A little more spacious than my college room in the prison cell, if not that much brighter. I think this is one of the standing stones Victoria mentioned. They should point to the entrance, but where and how? I think this is one of the stand. You have I mail. Think the mailman's been here. I'll have a look. And we're back to scrolling. A letter and the newspaper. A letter addressed to me? Strange. I've only Is it our mysterious me. helper? Yeah, looks like it. The Guardian's third virtue is mercifulness. 
Just as water grows drop by drop and becomes a mighty ocean, so should every call for help be heard and find a sea of answers. Yet another one of those cryptic messages? Uh, no thanks. <laughs> the last one drove me right into the clutches of a head case. What the? Ugh. The picture of me. That's the one I did for Murray. Ugh. That, ugh, he can never get enough, can he? I don't want to know what kind of dough he screwed out of the newspaper for that. Well, what does it say here? Blackmere Castle has a new lord of the manor. It has transpired that the young American Darren M, against whom the accusation of arson has yet to be proved, is the last descendant of the Gordon family. Great. Now everyone will think I've torched my inheritance. And what's even worse, that I'm rich. I'll throw the paper away. Good. That leaves us back to one. Technically. I think this is one of the standing. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna end the part here. I think it's a good bar to end on, and we're a bit at time. You shall hear from me in the next part.